going everybody so I'm at ESEM and we're gonna set up a Signum Miner um, we have a look here we've got a, it's a B360M bazooka motherboard 8th gen R5 8 gigs of DDR4 and this motherboard has four six SART supports and we also have a 400 watt power supply which isn't very big but if we look at the amps there, let's just have a look at the amps. We got some old routers here. Telcom. It looks like a link sec. Yeah. So much stuff here. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cheers, bro. Happy birthday to you. The more you look, the more you find. Look at this here. Here's a SATA cable. Here's a SATA cable. They just they connected with a cable tie. So one one use plastic. Um, it's. I'm gonna have to get a pliers to cut that off or something. Here's a SATA cable over here. There's another one. Here's one. How many did we need? Four. There's one. Let's just have a look around here. Oh, there's a tower. Let's try this tower. Oh, there's one. There's two. You have uh, so probably 100 base switches. Also starting off with, um, let's see how many hard drives we got here. One, two, three, four. And there's two. 4 terabytes and 2 3 terabytes and we've got 1 2 terabytes this is a C drive I'm not too sure if this is all working stock but you can see there's lots of power supplies here so if we ever in need of like SATA headers we could just pull this off here and like cut it um, something just you know solder, re-weld, reuse there's no point buying new I think a big part of Cigna is um, using what we have um, and that's what plotting with three hard drive space is all about. Getting a keyboard, so yeah, let's get a Microsoft keyboard. Looks nice. Okay, so let's just plan before we do the actual build. Um, we've got the combo, got the one drive, C drive, with the SATA cable. We've got uh, SATA power headers and some Molex there. One, two, three, four. So there's enough for these four drives we've got over here to start. And yeah, power supply. All we're really missing is um, solder cables. So let me go get those. And I think also the screen I'm working with doesn't have a HDMI. So I need DVR or HDMI for a display. So let's go find those things now. Hey, would you look at that? Old hard drive, how much? 500 gigs, 0.1 terabytes, 2008. That was even before crypto. Yeah, so here we are at ESEM. This is an electronic uh, recycling place. They've been in the business for over a decade. Um, yeah, cleaning up everybody's waste, basically. I'm um, doing a really good job here. Let's see if we can scratch around and find some SATA cables. These look like power headers. They take all sorts of electronics, uh, not just computer electronics, but appliances as well. Um, you can see they've got stripping units here. Let's see, here's an old uh, DVD ROM. <laughs> I wonder if we could burn a DVD or write a DVD. We should try that, is plot a DVD and then try read from a DVD, just for fun. A whole lot of like network cable that's been pulled out here that we can reuse. That's also quite expensive. So there's just so much available here at ESIM. If anybody wants to come down and just uh, find something to build, it's a great place for tinkers and inventors. And is that even a word? But um, it looks like a fiber optic cable.
benches at the back there, just uh, taking off all the components. They strip all the copper and silver and stuff like that. Um, let's just have a look in here. We we're also looking for an ACMR cable. I think I found one over here. There's an ACMR cable, so we'll need one of those um, for the display. Let's come outside for some fresh air. He seems situated in between some lovely countryside, right next to a horse farm. So I've lined um, the drives here, three of them, on this treadmill outside. And I'd like to talk to you guys about hard drives because, or storage space, because it's a fundamental to Signum. Um, the cryptocurrency runs off of free hard drive space or free storage space. So let's just talk about storage and yeah, let's let's have some education and discussion around there. Um, I feel with the Signum that the hard drive space is most important first or the most important factor so try bigger is better we're going to want four terabyte hard drives these are three and these are four so this one's four so four is better bigger is better when it comes to signal mining the next important thing i'd say even after the drive speed because with hard drives you normally get like a 7200 rev or 5400 rev um, space is more important than speed, um, especially when you're getting started with a mining rig. Maybe if you have a high-end rig with a lot of space and you're trying to squeeze out a little bit more, then some SSDs are a bit better. But I'm not here to have a technical guide. This is just a startup. This is grassroots. This is entry level. Anybody can join. Anybody can, can do the stuff that we're offering. Um, so I'd like discussions around that too guys. Let's not get into the nitty-gritty. Let's just help everybody get on their feet um, So let's look at the next important thing is energy um, So how energy is worked out on a drive they all run off of 5 and 12 uh, volts as far as I know uh, uh, 5 volts is just for standby so any signal mining would be done on 12 volts I'm not too sure if it uses the full amperage, but um, it's under 12 volts. And what you do, you times volts by amps to get the watts. So if we look at this drive here, let's just look at it. It says 12 volts, right? And it's 0.63 amps. So if you times 12 by 0.63, how much do you get? Let's look at this one. This one is 0.37. So this one here is almost half. The amperage of that one and it's a terabyte less so what I would assume just from the statistics on here that this drive would use less electricity to mine Signum than this one but also statistics can be deceiving we have to test these use cases we'll put these drives in and see if we can maybe have a power meter I'm not too sure how we would do exact testing but it's, it's good to actually do tests, test things. Don't just take what's written down. Okay, and then this one is obviously the most thirsty. We're looking at three quarters of an amp um, on a three terabyte drive. Um, and just in terms of age, age is also important. Generally, an older drive will uh, be smaller and more power thirsty. You can see this one is 2016. This one was 2014. This is 2015. So in terms of age, um, this one is the, this one here is the oldest and this one is the youngest. Okay, this also isn't serious, but it would make your life a bit easier in the long run is to label your drives. And the best way to label them, it's labeled already. You see SATA to six, SATA to five, SATA to four, SATA to three, SATA to one, SATA to two. So let's load up the SART supports in order and also wherever you're going to be mounting your drives. Maybe put stickers on them or just put them in an order top to bottom, bottom to top. Just so you know which drives are when they start loading up. Because when you have 20 drives in a rig and one goes wrong and you don't know which one it is, you start crying. Okay, so all the SART cables are in now. So perfect, all connected. Uh, we've got one for C drive. And then the four extras, one, two, three, four. So that's perfect to get going. I'm going to do this with our initial setup. The next thing I recommend is looking at your cable management. 
Do you mind if I can borrow these side cuts? In a perfect world, you would want to get the perfect size cable. Like this blue one is very short for the job. But, uh, you know, be, like over here, we got a better option with the free cables that we found. So, what we're going to do is just use these and, yeah, work on some cable management. Whether we join them all together like this afterwards. Or just have a look at where we're going to put the drives. Um, this is the first cable. This is the second cable. This is the third. And this one's the fourth one, obviously. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take these drives and uh, start loading them up into the machine. Let's come outside to get some fresh air. Hey, look. Is that you, Roger? Okay, I'm back by the rig and I've put all the drives just in the default bays um, just for convenience and yeah we can um, see if there's any heat problems or how our heat management's working and yeah uh, one thing I've realized though I don't have any computer screws so I'm going to go back down to the workshop and see what I can find there and find use that PC case again I'm just gonna go back to that same PC case I think there's screws in here I'll check these even the screws on the floor here right? they're not PC screws though let's take these out one two three four you only need four screws Look at this case guys, maybe we should build our miner into that. Can we get some votes if we need to build it into this case? We still need a name, what are we going to call this miner guys? Okay, so we're all sorted, drives are all secure, now let's put in the cables, there's the first one. Although look here, power is on the bottom, so let's do the power first. So before I put the cables in, I've considered cable management. Cable management is very important for airflow um, and uh, heat management. So if your cables aren't uh, neat, you're going to have heat. And heat is a big problem in a rig. Um, you know, and then some people will just try putting fans, but fans create more airflow and create dust. So the best thing to do is actually just uh, sort out your cables. It's the first thing to do. And yeah, I'm going to just wire everything up now. So let's do this in a progression. Started off with the power cables. Can you see how I've tucked everything underneath behind this panel over here? There's like a panel there. Let me lift it so you can see it. Let's lift it for you. Well, the machine's considerably heavier with these drives in it. Um, there's like a little panel at the side here. Can you actually put the light? There we go. You can kind of see behind there. You see the panel? This is coming here. Maybe you can. There we go. You'll see how all the cables have been tucked behind there. So yeah, the best thing to do is like wrap and bunch your cables and then tuck them behind the panels. Don't have them in this open area where all the components are. Those that are completely new to computers and if you have any fears or worries, please don't worry or panic. Um, computers are like Lego blocks and they've got little chips in them and stuff so you can't really do it wrong. Um, see here, this can only go one way. That's the SATA cable, the power cable that goes into the hard drive. Then we've also got the SATA cable. If you take a closer look, that can also only go one way. So yeah, don't don't have any fear. Try just try. There we go. That looks pretty good. Say so that's okay. So 
so yeah well, so let's set up this rig now i've just checked this monitor cable has only got vga um, but this monitor has hdmi so what i'm going to do is plug in the hdmi we found at eSEM into the cable Okay, it looks very similar to HDMI port, but it's not quite HDMI, it looks like it's DVR. Okay, and this uh, motherboard has a DVR port, so that's perfect. Let's look for a DVR cable. Yeah, bonga ga cool. For quite friendly here, yeah? um, they've just helped me out with a DVR converter. So it looks like we can plug this into that other VGA port, and then we can use, we don't need a DVR cable. I had four pins on that little slit, so I need to go look for a cable, see what we can find. This cable, it should work, it just it looks a bit bent, so I'm going to try to straighten that. Yo! It's working. Yeah, <laughs> This uh, dual power cord, very useful. Let's uh, set up the rig, this is the last step. Okay, so all set up. This is the basically the build or the rig is done, the physical part of phase one. And um, yeah, let's turn on the power supply. And I've got um, AC return on in the bar, so you can see it's turned on by itself already. Got a very very um, low spinning fan here. A little bit dirty, but no nothing serious. Um, it's not even a tenth of an amp. Because, yeah, less airflow means less dust. Here we go. Thank you. Really nice when things start first time. Let's uh, wait till we boot up into... Hello to you too. Sorry guys, it is a little slow. Thanks for being patient. Okay, I'll skip now. Understand, we only please understand that we're only running a two terabyte Skyhawk for our C drive, so boot times might be a bit slow. But once the boot has loaded, the Signum blockchain can read. Okay, guys, I think that concludes it for today. It's almost uh, home time, almost 4:20. So yeah, let's wrap up for today, and we can start the plot tomorrow. After a hard day's work, we also play hard.